Yo, yo, yo! What's up, YouTube? Surreal Canine here. We're playing Disgaea Dimension 2. In the last episode, we became reacquainted with Laharl, Edna, and Flan here in their own netherworld. Laharl got started on his plan to, uh, go show the world that he is the Overlord. And then we ended up just kind of wandering around for a whole bit while I rambled on about game mechanics and stuff. <laughs> but, let's go down here and see what else is up. The Demon Dojo. We're still repair repairing right now. That's fine. Just remember that this area is here. It's got a couple of different rooms involved in it. So yeah, the dojo is still setting up, so let's just get out into the field again. Unless, does anybody else have something to say? Nope, not yet. Alright, that's fine. Let's go. Battle Basics 2. Evil presence. Let's get them. They're kind of far. Lift and throw. I'll destroy all of you. As you can see, Laharo can't quite move far enough. As you can see, starting in Disgaea D2, you can throw diagonally with no problem. It's a much needed quality of life feature. Each character has a limit to how far they can throw. The uh, horizontal limit and the vertical limit are directly related to one another. If Laharl defends here, he will take less damage from enemy attacks as well as protecting anybody behind him. You can lift characters who are already lifting characters, or throw a character onto a character who's already lifting. Also, pretties explode when you throw them. Only humanoids can lift and throw. Monster characters uh, can be mounted by humanoids, and they can use combo attacks that way. It's the replacement for magic change. If you use three or more people, you can throw even farther. You can stack characters up. Endless possibilities. Boom! And just like that, we took out an enemy on the first turn. And you know, we're kind of uh, low on slippers here, so uh, early going is going to be a little difficult. You know how it is. Anyway, yeah, what Etna was hinting at just now is 
that uh, you cannot hit this Mothman if he is uh, too high up. Your attacks will just not reach more than about 12 DM above you. That is why we have Laharo climb up on this box. So yeah. I noticed that this uh, map is using the same geometry as Battle Basics 1, just uh, with some extra boxes sitting around. By the way, a character can only jump so high, and that in this case, 25 DM. Uh, you can see this box was just uh, barely low enough for Edna to make it up on top. Also, the longer range your weapon is, the uh, higher you can reach with ranged attacks. So keep that in mind. The data shop is open now. The data shop records all sorts of stuff about our activities. You can also change the music for the base and item world. The guy's name is Paparazzi and he's in the archive room. You can check your item collections here. Check your records. A whole bunch of stuff we are not especially familiar with. We can check the list of uh, generic character classes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are the characters you can pick from if, right now if you want to uh, propose a new unit for me. You can also pick from these three monster classes. The rest we will have to unlock uh, later on. You can see our uh, records for viewing special skill animations. You can view the endings we have seen. Secret. You can check out our music. And we can see what the data shop is about, but we don't need to do that, right guys? Yeah. Alright, let's heal ourselves. And get on out of here. Bye bye for now. Our unit of the day is Etna. As you can see, Etna has two abilities, unlike any other unit. Uh, sadistic, we already explained in the very first video, but if the target has full health, she does one and a half times extra damage. Uh, the Lone Majin, Etna learns at the after the end of the game. Uh, if she is by herself, or if all of her allies are prinnies, then her stats are doubled. As for her weapon aptitudes, here they are. Uh, due to her uh, apprenticeship, she's got higher uh, spear aptitude than normal, as well as stabs. Uh, but you definitely want to keep her to spears because of that defense aptitude. It can come in handy. These are her special skills. First up, Prinny Raid. Next up, Sexy Beam. Same as it always has been. Very awkward heart-shaped area of effect. It's got a different animation, but it's still the same old attack. Next up, Chaos Impact. Chaos Impact is A level, not bad. Ow. 
Ouch. <laughs> Etna's final move is also learned in the post-game. It is Dead End Chaos. As you can see, it's double S power. That's Etna. <laughs> Makes her uh, a good bit more, more worth using in a uh, in this game, especially if you're trying to uh, grind a little bit in the post game and you're just getting started and you need that uh, that boat that boost from her two abilities. By the way, the lone Majin is absolutely unique to Etna. It cannot be stolen. And if Etna steals another ability, it will overwrite the Lone Majin. Be warned.